The life is full of opportunities, and your goal is not to miss them. My name is Alex Wright, and that's my life. Hey, 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 hello everybody! How are you doing, guys? Today's video is gonna be really short, I think, but it's still gonna be very interesting, at least for me, because I'm doing a full DIY thing, which is one DIY idea, and I barely do DIY, so that's gonna be like my first one in like six months, I think. Um, little short DIY idea on this stone. So why stone? Because I found some interesting ideas on the internet of doing mandala by um, some people, I don't even know, that's some sort of Indian or Asian, I don't know, art and craft thing. I was inspired by Australian blogger who does the mandala on the stones and I'm gonna show you guys how I will do that. I don't even have the design right now, but I'll come up with it soon enough. So I'll be showing you how I'll decorate this stone, so it'd be like some sort of room decor by the window right here, near my bed or on my table. And I found a stone on the beach at Seattle. It smells like ocean and it's just a little memory for me from Seattle with love. <laughs> so let's get into the video and I'll show you how I will do the DIY Mandela drawing. Today I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful mandala on the beach stone. I'm gonna start off by adding this middle dot in the middle of the stone with a shiny white color and surround it with the yellow dots around it. After I finish with my tiny yellow dots around the white front, I'm starting to apply little light blue dots between two yellow dots. In my opinion, those colors go really good together because I love the combination of light blue, light yellow, as well as light white color. And then I'm just applying bright green big dots between tiny blue ones. Bright green color is one of my favorites, so I'm trying to use it as much as possible. When this color is wet, it looks like light blue, but actually it's very shiny, sparkling blue color, which is dark blue. And when it gets dry, it becomes really shiny, and I love it. So I'm just applying these dots between the between green ones and make them bigger. And put two little dots between big blue ones. You can play with the pattern however you want, you can use your imagination, create your own design. For me, I like to add more details because I think it's harder and it just makes me more quiet and calm for a second. Kind of a good relaxation, that's why I think Indian people use mandala a lot. So yes, just use your imagination and create things that you personally enjoy. Speaking of Indian culture and harmony, I would like to add the orange color because I think this color makes you warmer inside of your body and just your overall mood is happier and it's scientifically approved that orange is a color of happiness, so I'm just adding it between the blue dots and surround it with other color. I used the same color with which I started, which is shiny white one and I do really tiny dots around my orange big dot and just make it look more detailized and also add neon pink dot inside of the orange one. And don't be worried to use a lot of color, because using a lot of color will add your stone more volume and it will just look better and it will be very pleasant to touch and you will just like looking at it so the paint wouldn't be flat and it will be more decorated and more original. As you probably noticed, I like using different shades of blue color, because blue color is a color of peace and I just used the dark blue color between orange dots and surround it with a Tiffany blue color and make the one Tiffany blue color dot inside of the dark blue color. I also added huge neon pink dots in my stone and surround it with the bright yellow color, but I didn't really like that because neon pink color turned transparent after it got dry and I didn't really like that, so I changed it to a different color. After I was pretty much done, I decided to add more sparkles and shiny stuff into my stone decoration mandala and I just add shiny blue color between pink neon dots and also inside of other dots.
After the neon pink color got dry, I decided to switch it into a light pink one and I think it looks better and not so aggressive, it's just more peaceful and just looks nicer, so I changed it. That's our final look of the Mandela stone decoration, which we made by acrylic paint with using different techniques, which is super easy, super fun and great decoration for your home. Also a perfect handmade gift for somebody you really like. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you liked this video. For me it was very exciting to do this because I like to draw. I was inspired so much by this beautiful girl who did like hundreds of stones decorated this way. So if you like this video, please thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs. And also subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos. Please check the description box down below to see more my social media links like my Instagram Alex Wright or Facebook. I'm free for contact if you want to talk, just send me a text, I will be glad to reply. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for watching, you're the best!